today I'm going to be sharing with you my secret on how I became overpowered in arm wrestling simulator. Let's jump right into the video. So the first thing that I did when I started arm wrestling simulator was I was in the school area where most people are. And the first mistake that I made was going over to the bully and trying to fight him. I got absolutely destroyed by him, which was pretty sad. Now obviously, I can just completely dominate him without thinking about it. But before, I tried fighting really before I was even ready. Now, I fought him when I had like two strength and I wasn't able to defeat him. So the thing that I really wish that I did was actually get a little bit more strength. And obviously, you can do this by going over to the bicep area and just equipping one of these dumbbells and gaining some strength. But this isn't the best way to do it. Now, over here on the left, these used to be treadmills, but now they are punching bags. I recommend that you use these punching bags and you grind a little bit, but I don't recommend clicking. What you want to do is you want to click on this auto train, it's free, and then click knuckle. It'll take you to the best punching bag that you can go to and it will automatically do it for you. So you can go AFK, you can go have dinner, you can even go to school. Obviously not right now because it's summer, but if it was during the school year, you could go to school while you're riding this. The only problem with this is that every once in a while, it actually teleports you back to the main area and resets your farm so that you can't be AFK all the time. So you do have to check back every once in a while. Now the next thing is pets, and these are overpowered. At the very beginning, I was grinding without using pets, which was a big mistake for me. I definitely should have known from the very beginning that pets were gonna be overpowered, and if I went over to these eggs and spent a few wins on getting some pets, I would be way further than I am right now. And this very first area, the black hole egg, is the best egg. I actually got really lucky and I got the spooky, which is a 12x boost which is quite overpowered for this very beginning area. But once you get into the second area, that changes completely. Now my best is a 74X, but I'm sure that better things are here yet to come. In fact, just to show, I'm gonna open the burning egg, which has a ton of overpowered pets right now. That's where I got my best one from. Let's see what I get. Okay, I got a Dermite. Not the best, but it's definitely gonna be up in my top pets. Another thing that seems really simple, but wasn't super simple to me, is that if you click the pets button over here, then you can actually click equip best to put on all of your best pets to make sure that you're getting the full amount of strength that you could be from your grind. Another thing that you should probably know is that going over to this table over here, the PvP, is just not worth it. Bruh. You only get one win from it, so unless you're just playing against your friend and it's for fun, it's not really good for grinding. If you do want to grind wins though, click auto fight and go try to fight the best thing that you possibly can. For me, it looks like the Slicer Assassin I'm actually able to beat. I think it's actually mostly luck. One thing that you need to know though, is that this recommended thing, 10 million recommended for this Scrap Trader, that is not true at all. I do not need 10 million to beat him. I was able to beat the Scrap Trader as soon as I got here. That number is more like recommended if you want to auto farm this. All right, I think you've been here long enough. It's time for me to tell you my biggest method of all. I told you this earlier in the video, but I do want to point out that this is the best method for getting overpowered. The auto train. If you head over to this area with the punching bags and you just auto farm that, then you will be getting so much knuckle strength. And everything up here just adds up to your total strength. So whether it's bicep, hands, or knuckles, really doesn't matter. And the knuckles is the easiest to get and by far most overpowered. Anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to go smash the subscribe button and tap the bell. Don't miss out on any of those new videos, but anyway, you guys, I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye!